After the rigours of a night spent in the Walmart car park, we decided to splash out on a bit of luxury. So we've actually checked into a campsite, a proper one, and we managed to get the very last pitch that was available. The campsite is in the Jonathan Dickinson State Park, which is on the west coast of Florida, about 100 miles south of Cape Canaveral. The weather, as you would expect, is sunny, but it's not exactly hot. And someone's just told me that a few miles further north, it's 50 degrees. Still in Florida, but 50 degrees. For you young people, that's about 10 degrees centigrade. Now, I've never stayed on an American campsite before. I don't stay on very many campsites in the UK or Europe, but it's pretty much what I expected, although there have been a few surprises. Because the campsite's in the middle of a state park, there are loads of facilities. For example, there's a river running through the park and you can go on a boat tour, you can hire a kayak, you can also hire bicycles, you can even hire a horse or go on a wagon ride. There's so much to do, you could spend days, probably a whole week here and not get bored. And you get all this for $28.60 a night, which is around 18 or 19 pounds, which I think is pretty good value. Apart from all the American RVs and trailers and all that sort of thing, the exotic vegetation and the fabulous weather. There are other sure signs that you're not on some club site in the heart of the English countryside. Of course, you'll want to know about the shower facilities, won't you? Let's have a look. And here they are. Bright, clean, tidy, and lots and lots of space. It has to be said that not all the showers I've come across at American campsites live up to the same high standards as that one. In this one, for example, well, <laughs> you've got to see it to believe it. Look at that cockroach. Unbelievable! And also, in this shower block, not only do the showers have curtains, so do the toilets. Unbelievable, really unbelievable. Look at the showers. There it is. That's the controls. And as for the towel they provide to wash your hands, it's somebody's old dressing gown. This is epically unbelievable. Hey, it gets better. I've just been told that in the ladies, there's a thick layer of mud in the shower. There's no hot water, only cold. And the hand drying facilities consist of a pair of tracksuit bottoms. It just doesn't get any better. <laughs> and in the evening, there's a beautiful sunset. It really is stunning. But as for the rest of the site, it's absolutely silent. There's nobody wandering around. There's nothing going on. It's actually a little bit creepy. Ooh.